Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. If you re-enter the city in the sky, you're greeted with this little cutscene that I thought I would show you for the heck of it. It's nothing really all that special, I just thought I would show you it for no special reason in particular. And I've got to walk my way back over to the spot. Oh, poo. Well, that didn't take long at all, now did it? Well, for you at least. <laughs> well, actually, it did, didn't really take all that long. Uh, oh, that's right, this room. Um, I think I need something on this, I mean, I need to do something on this end first. You know, I really should kill those critters by taking off their, um, armor with the claw shot. I, I, I don't know, I'm just more of a sword purist, I guess, and never really think about using anything else but the sword. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm looking for. I knew it was there, because... This room had me stuck, actually, until I went back to the uh, beginning there and looked. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, well, at least on my first run of the game, but I've always remembered that since then. Because it had me stuck for a while. Man, that was just terrible aiming on its part. Really terrible aiming. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is what I mean about the claw shot thing. You can grab their armor like that, and then they're helpless, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, they, they still can run into you, I suppose, but it's not like... It, it's as big of a deal because you can defend yourself with the sword rather than strafe around them or something like that. Uh... Oh. I don't... Hmm. I, I don't remember which way is the dead end route. I think it's this way because the dead end route has something, not you. <laughs> I suppose there's a yellow rupee. Ah, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. This route will actually be a uh, return route a little bit later on, you'll see. Wait, right, where is this the room that's gonna be the return route? I just gotta. Uh, it's gonna. Yeah, this is the one with the return route, okay. Back the other way! And. I was worried there for a second that I'd have to redo that. Um, the fan switch puzzle thing over there, but I guess it stays off. Whew! <laughs> Alright, so we got a new room here. Um, I think there are hidden enemies on the floor tiles. I think it's those tile worm things in this room, I recall, or maybe it's another room I'm thinking of. Anyway, let's do some platforming and see. I, I'm guessing that if you get hit by... Out of my way. I'm guessing if you get hit by one of the tile worm things that they are going to pretty much knock you over the edge. And that's not going to work out for you. <laughs> um, hmm. Is it... Can I, like, use the wind to boost myself? No, I can't. Or do I have... Can I really make that jump? I think I can make that jump. Why didn't I think I can make that jump? It's so simple. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Aha, there are. So that means I must be rid of them. Otherwise, I will never ever make that jump. I'll see what's inside the pot just for the heck of it. I don't really care about the falling tile because it's it's jumpable as you've seen before. And I'm gonna have to take another route for that chest. And I'll have to get it from that side I presume. Anyway that's just hope for the best and leave a faith! Okay. <laughs> that wasn't that hard of a jump. Uh, from I think I can make this one, because I need to go over to that chest. I don't really care about that one. Although, I'm probably going to forget about it if I don't get it now, and then it's going to knock me way off the edge later. <laughs> Any more tile? No, okay. Whew. I'm not sure that was worth the trip. <laughs> Well, whatever. Uh, ooh, I can... Uh, I can use the claw shot target over there to get back easily. Actually, what's the point of that? <laughs> Is that to, like, get back from there to here or something? Oh, and I took a wrong wrong turn. My, my mistake. 
I have to use this route. And then go here. And I, no, 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 no. Please, dear lord, no. I'd rather have that than getting knocked off the edge. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. Trickery. I'm gonna wait for the wind just to be safe. Or is that a fan? I think it's a fan, actually. I think that it could possibly knock you off the edge if it's... Is there anything that's gonna knock me off here? Okay. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, if you hang off the edge and that wind comes up, I'm, I think it'll knock you off. I'm not positive, so that's why I want to make sure I give myself all the time I need. And that's it for this room. Moving on. Oh, jeez. That's never a good sign. Double is a force. Uh, can I, like, divide and conquer them? Like, fight one at a time on one side? That would be really handy. Like, bait. Okay, one sees me. Oh, I can! Very nice. Can I, like, knock you over the edge? That would be even better. <laughs> yes, I can! <laughs> it's like, why struggle with the Lizza Falls when you can just knock him right off the edge? That small platform was quite the advantage, actually, for doing that little thing. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. And yeah, that works. <laughs> Either way. Is that gonna open the door? Yeah, that is. Ah, and there we go. That opens that other room. Or at least the door is in the other room. You'll see what I mean when I get there. Wait, or is it this room that I'm... Oh, okay. I was thinking of an, the other gate in that um, return passage that I was thinking of, and yeah, I think I... Clearly I am not all there today. <laughs> okay, now that we're on another level... Oh, whenever you see one of these spheres, grab it. It, it activates stuff. And you can use the power of the Uka to get places now. You can use them to fly on the wind, basically, and you gotta time it with the wind as well. I think I should be able to jump now, it seems safe enough. Whee! <laughs> I told you that's a... The, the, excuse me, the gimmick of the dungeon is flying on Kukos. Very fun concept, I must say. Uh, although it, it does a complete 360 a little bit later. Uh, once you get the dungeon item, you'll see. I'm actually coming up to it shortly. I'm making uh, quite a bit of progress quite quickly on this place. I gotta make my way back to the uh, other room, though. Uh, yeah, I know I, I need to use that, but I think there's something down there, maybe? Hmm. Oh, well, there's that. I forgot about that. <laughs> ah, okay. So I can use... a buddy? And hopefully get myself to zoom over to the right. Not on those pipes, I'm talking like over here. Oh, 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 oh. I was a little bit too far left, and I'll just plop you there on top of the chest. <laughs> I guess that works. Am I able- oh, you just dropped off, okay. I was gonna say, am I able to grab you up there? That would be kind of unfortunate if I had to reset the room or something. Um, like, oh! That was, a, that was a keys, wasn't it? Or is that just the camera and the wings were flapping in the camera or something? I don't know. Now we're, oh, shoot! Well, that's too bad. <laughs> But, I can do it like this. Woo! I, I, I remember one of these pits having a chest for some reason that encouraged you to drop down, or maybe I'm thinking of some other area. I, I tend to get stuff like that confused a lot, obviously. <laughs> anyway, you can clearly tell how to get over to the other end. Just by Kuko. Well, Uka. 
Oh, my wallet's gonna be full again. <laughs> uh, something tells me I'm gonna need a healthy dose of roll gold to knock my funds back down. <laughs> or if I cap out my rupee count at 600, maybe I'll go back to uh, buy the magic armor. Um, am I supposed to get back across there with this? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. But then I need my buddy. Sorry! <laughs> And... Upsy daisy. I don't know where I go from here, though. I guess I'll attempt this spot, because I see the globe. Or ball, oval, egg-shaped thing, whatever. And... Whoa, jeez. Should not have put those pots there. <laughs> uh, oh! Did not mean to do that. Oh! Thanks for coming back to me. I guess you trust me enough, despite me- oh, oh, no, 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 oh, well, that worked out anyway. I went out a little bit too early. I guess it trusts me enough to be my buddy. Is this all for the room, I think? Yeah, that's all for the room, I guess. And here's the place that I said was the, um, return trip a little bit later. You'll see what I mean. So we gotta get down there. That's what they're hinting at. And this is rather easy to do just by grabbing a Uka and uh, gliding from destination to destination. And try and control your um, falling distance and falling speed if you can. Uh, you could actually fall quicker using the iron boots. I never showed that before, so I guess I'll show that now. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the wind to die down though. If you put them on, <laughs> it makes you plummet like a rock. <clears throat> and there's the door I'm looking for. Let's go! Uka flight makes things easy. Oh, <laughs> the head just went right through the wall. I'm sorry, but it didn't seem to affect you all that much. But I'm still sorry anyway. Alright, let's go through here. And something awaits us! In case you didn't realize that this this path here is a one-way path. Or is it? I mean, you can't get back up there using the, the claw shot or any of the items that you have right now, so you gotta make do with what you have just to get down there. And Anyway, let's take a look around here. Oh, there's a switch. Hmm. Well, let's just grab that. And iron boots. <laughs> that turns off that fan. And now from here, what you want to do is zoom down with the control stick and plop down. I probably should have taken off the boots because I know that there's a little mini boss battle coming here. This is Aralafos. It's got a claw shot target right on shield, so I'm pretty sure you know what to do. <laughs> Alright. Z target. Come on, let me. And put up your shield. Come on. You gotta put up your shield in order for me. Unless I'm yeah, that's right. I gotta wait. There we go. And attack. That's really all you have to do in this fight. <laughs> it's ridiculously easy. Are you gonna go back in the sky? Okay. It, I'm surprised that there is such an easy boss this early. I mean, this early. This late in the game. Come on, dive down. You have to do your charge thing. There we go. Good boy! <laughs> And things may be getting a little more interesting. I have to wait for it to. There we go. Oh, I was a little too late. <laughs> Don't worry, it resets. I mean, it, it puts you back where you were before. I shouldn't have knocked those, um, those blocks down. That was my mistake earlier. Those blue blocks along the edges there function as sort of a um, cushion of sorts. Whoop. 
guess I'm just not being all that careful because this is a rather easy boss. <laughs> now let's try this again. There you are. Yeah! You just gotta wait for... I mean, you gotta see it come out of the window for you to be able to react to it, basically. Come on. Let down your guard, man. Now you're definitely much tougher than your typical Lizaphos. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. <laughs> and it's over. Besides that flub that I did early on, as you can see, very, very easy. Voila! And your prize is inside that chest, and it's the thing you need to get back up and out of there using the return path. So let's go grab that. Oop. And then once I grab it and show you its functionality, I'll end off the part. You get another claw shot! Can you believe it? So now they are double claw shots. It is an extremely awesome item, <laughs> to say the least. All right, here's this is how things work with this double claw shot thing. You can use them. Oh, that's right. You got to reselect it. That's too bad. <laughs> like you can use one to latch onto. I shouldn't have jumped jumped down from up there, should I? Because I was up higher. Because you, you can use them to shimmy yourself from one claw shot target or something that you can grab onto another. Before you couldn't be able to do this because you only had one claw shot. And now you are able to get yourself all around this dungeon with ease as well as get other collectibles that you couldn't normally collect before because you didn't have claw, uh, double claw shots. This is required for a couple heart pieces in the, uh, oh, oh, geez, what the heck was that? In the overworld, as well as, um, just finishing the dungeon and game in general. And that's, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end off here. <laughs> as I said, don't want to make the parts too long, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next parts.